What's up guys? Welcome out to the shop this week for another Workshop Wednesday. I'm glad you guys are out here to join me and see all the updates, see what's been going on. And there's only been a little thing. I've been working on a project this week. So I haven't really been getting any kind of cleaning up around the shop done because I've been working on the project for this week and I really like this project because it's very helpful to me. I'll show you guys the sneak preview real quick. I'll have to open up the shop door and walk outside. Can you guys see that? Look, I got myself a new little ramp coming up into the shop. So that will be extremely helpful this summer because when I want to go outside and work with the table saw on those nice days, I don't have to worry about it dropping off the edge of the shop. I can just roll it right down. It works great. Uh, very simple build. That project will be out this coming Sunday. See all those hand saws right there? I went ahead and posted those for sale this week up on Facebook Marketplace and other different sites. So that, like I said before, that's one thing that I really want to try to do this year is kind of bring the collector's items, which those saws aren't even collectors. I don't know why I was buying them. So maybe just for the thrill of spending that money. But, you know, I'm going to try to go and get rid of those. I have some up here that I will not be getting rid of. They... Probably aren't collectors, but they're the older saws. I have one saw right here that I haven't restored or anything. And this one is a Sheffield Spear, Spear and Jackson. It's got Sheffield road on it. It's a beautiful saw, look at that thing. Yes, it is rusted, but the etch isn't an etch it's actually stamped on that can you see that and also the nuts on the back are split nuts not really sure if there's any real value into it but there is value with it to me i like it so i want to keep this one but the other ones are just like regular saws so i'm going to try to get rid of those yeah i've even posted the auger drills up for sale. Also got a pile of things to sell. The braces and the air hose is also up for sale. The air hose was a PVC air hose, 100 foot. And during the winter time, if you guys ever messed with a PVC air hose, those hoses are stiff as can be during the winter time. Uh, during the summer, they are flexible, but during the winter time, they're horrible. So I've been working in the house. I had to lay down a bunch of flooring inside the house. And this tool right here is a lifesaver. Oh, it's the Dremel Multimax. It's just a uh, multi-tool. There's plenty of different brands on it. But when you're doing your flooring, you can cut the, uh, the trim of like the door frames and stuff and make it even with the floor that you're putting in. So that was a big help this week. I got our bedroom completely finished. So we have all of these Dremel tools and Dremel tool accessories that I have, and I don't really know where to keep them. I don't use them often. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna go ahead and store these underneath the bench. Right down in there. And I'm missing one the saw max this is a dremel battery powered one which is nice then we have the dremel corded one and then we have a knockoff of the dremel products and if you guys ever mess with the dremels get dremel products these suck and this is the dremel saw max this is okay it works fairly well it didn't cut i tried to use it with some of the flooring that we laid and it ended up where's it at i think this is the well that was the blade but yeah this is the blade for it and as you can see it just burnt that blade up and then i tried to use a different one and you can see that it burned it up as well. I tried to just to see if something was different about them. I've got a whole set of them somewhere and I can't find them. 
Ever since I started moving stuff around the shop, I don't know where they are. I'm trying to clean up, you know? And uh, I, want, I really want to try to get this part of the shop somewhat organized this week and get the, the paint and stuff like that all squared away. But I know I have it. I just don't know where. Because I used to keep the saw max down here in this corner. All right, guys. So I got all the Dremel stuff put in there and I ended up standing them all on end. I can tell what each one is while they're on end and actually I don't have to unstack them and stuff like that to get them out of there. And those are just a couple of the accessories on top. So I've got something over here. You guys ever mess with drill bits, like the regular brace and bit drill bits, you'll know that it's very hard to come by an entire case of bits. And lo and behold, my great uncle, he had an entire case. So each piece is in here every single one which is nice this is a Irwin drill bit set everything's labeled it even came with a pamphlet on how to drill with these bits which is pretty awesome well the workbench is completely cleaned off and man i can't believe it's been it has been thrown stuff on for quite a while and now the entire thing all seven feet of it is completely cleaned off so one thing that's been bugging me here lately is that this stupid sign won't stay up i keep on getting it and then it's just on top of a screw but i was hoping it would stay up better than it is because it's all folding up so there you go i'm gonna I gotta figure out something to do with that. Maybe a different hook or something like that for the top. On this side of the shop over here, I've really been playing around with ideas of what I can do with it. And it kind of is just stuff thrown over here in the corner for the automotive stuff. I got my toolbox and then a bunch of random other bits and pieces. So what I was actually thinking about doing is building a workbench that wraps all the way around to there and then I will end up getting rid of this metal table and I have to get rid of all that junk and it'll open up this whole entire section right here I'll be able to put that on this side and I was thinking about so I was going to try to see how big one of those tool chests are from Harbor Freight and then base the workbench off of that height so that I could roll that tool chest out if I needed to and if I needed to put it back somewhere I would like to do that and then for this uh, and then for this uh, toolbox, I was also thinking about. So I was gonna go ahead and take this toolbox right here, break it into two pieces, and for the top section, I was gonna make it like a dolly system that I could put it on, and then keep that low as well underneath a workbench. That way, I could have one big, huge work surface over here and I could put the uh, sander and stuff on there, but I could also move that stuff if I needed. And that would be kind of like the auto side of stuff. So like car stuff, uh, engine stuff, anything, chainsaw, stuff like that. That's where all that work would be done. And then over here on this side, is where all of the woodworking would be done. And as you guys can see, I've got this section pretty much situated where I want it. I, I think I like having the chisels over there and there's this drop cord right here in the way. But um, yeah, I actually am thinking about possibly getting rid of the bookcase and figuring out something to do with all those hand planes and maybe put them up higher, up on top, something like that. Because I'm going to end up putting in 
a header board up there behind the sign so I could bring out a shelf all the way across through there and store all of those up there. It wouldn't be very big, it'd be 12 inches, I believe, but I think that would be big enough to get most of the hand planes up there and some of the longer ones. So yeah, just uh, a lot of ideas floating around here tonight. That's kind of what's happening here. I got the workbench cleared off. I need to figure out something to do with the lathe. I think that would probably be stored underneath one of the workbenches as well, or I need to make its own area something because where it's at is not working out it's right in the middle of the floor and i kind of want its tools with it as well i wonder if putting it under the lumber rack would work on some kind of like two by four out and then have like angled legs back towards the thing i don't know i'll have to think about that what do you guys think would you guys do something like that would you guys put a like a table under here on some angled legs so that you could kind of hide it and it would keep all the wood shavings and stuff that way i could have its own little section let me know so that's it for tonight i hope you guys uh, enjoy the week it was a fairly nice weather this week and Lots of plans rambling around, rattling around in my head today. So I hope you guys throw some comments down below. Kind of help me straighten some of this stuff out. Let me know what you guys think about the progress. Uh, I got the workbench cleared off. It's been uh, interesting in here. I got the, uh, the ramp done. So guys, make sure you guys check that out on Sunday when that comes out. 8 o'clock in the morning is when it'll be posted. So it should be interesting. It was a fun build. Something easy and simple. Now I can go and saw and stuff outside the shop. So hit that thumbs up, guys, and leave a comment down below. Hope you guys are enjoying these little vlog-style shop, workshop deals. If you guys do, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and leave a comment if you do. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Check out all the other videos. Go into my playlist. That's the easiest way to figure out what kind of videos you want to watch. Woodworking, blacksmithing, DIY stuff. I mean, there's a couple different playlists. So go check those out. Hope you guys enjoy your week and we will see you guys on Sunday.